Hello YouTube, in this video we are going to install Mellow Fly SB2040 on my Warren Trident. SB2040 comes with, with this harness. We have four wires, two of them are CAN bus and two of them power cables. For that I purchased cable glands, so you put in the cable and what we are going to do, we are going to remove cable chains and replace them with uh, like a hangout cable and trying to figure out which one is the best solution for me to put cables in like um, sleeving and um, you can decide yourself which one is better leave your comment below which one you like the most which one you would use this one is a very soft one it's a paramax paracord whatever you call it and um, this is the regular like 3d printing cables living that we use you can see it's, it can extend and stuff like that you probably seen those and under trees i actually purchased a lot of those to practice just and, and see so this is a four millimeter it's a bit short it's going to be a tight fit for a cable inside i also want to uh, push through the cable for motor because who knows if driver will be overheating I don't want to re-sleeve that thing second time and it's weight to nothing uh, in my case 0.6 millimeters this one probably be the best fit if you don't want to use paracord uh, with paracord you just take um, those central cores out of rope pretty much and you have uh, perfect sleeving you just need to heat up the sides of the thing and keep it, keep it, keep it straight so I will leave links into the description. Next thing for CAN bus, I, I'm using that phone cable that I just stripped with our G47. This one also came with the printer and I decided, yeah, it's a perfect opportunity to use it this way. I will crimp the CAN bus also with our G47, connect it here, and this side will go to our power supply. Maybe you I'm now on the middle of disassembling a printer, removing all the all the cables and all the clips. I took off the switch from here that we will use to put a switch on the tool head and on the side of the rail. So the X1 will be here, the Y1 will be here with special printed part. Okay, so at this point I have removed everything I need from the 3D printer. I pulled all the unnecessary wires. I will uh, unsolder both of those switches and one of them will be an adapter for the Y axis and one of them will be on a tool head for X axis. We also have to solder that little plate out here and uh, put all the wires in. So let's uh, go right into it. So at this point I realized that I'm using a wrong Y and stop part and the original GitHub repository for Warren Trident actually have this part and if you want to relocate your switch it's easy to do. And that's how our X and Y and stops are looking like after installment. To mount the board over the tool head you need spacers but I just use one of those standoffs and cut it into pieces with the knife just split it by the layers. That space was more than enough. So the tool head was assembled, and after basic PID calibration, I decided to print extrusion cover out of PLA to hide Y end stop and motor wires.
The next step was to run resonance frequency calibration with built-in ADXL sensor. And that is where I have found the first problem. Right on the middle of the calibration, my Raspberry Pi was throwing a error, which after brief research turned out was related to the CAN bus bitrate and communication speed. The higher your micro steps value, the faster speeds you have to use in order to make it work. My micro step settings set to B16, and for me those settings work perfectly fine. I had to use Clippy Pro, and um, I used old mouse, just pulled Amron switch out of here. And this is the whole pile of parts we have removed from our printer. Thank you for watching this video. Leave like, dislike, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.